Quick game. What has two syllables and disrupts your daily life? TikTok. Oh wow. Here she is. This is so cool. Yeah, that's a little bit. I'm just gonna say it. TikTok has clearly taken over the world and quite frankly, my life. Do you want to know how many times I lied to my boyfriend when he asked if I was busy and I told him yes I was busy when in reality I was really just watching dancing TikToks for four hours. I always see videos go viral about people being like, you need this makeup product or this super random thing. So in today's video, I got all of the random things. Most likely, these are things that you guys have probably seen on your For You page one time or another. I have been waiting to open these boxes for a month. I love how long shipping to Hawaii takes. That being said, we are in for a wild ride so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with this. I've seen these really weird videos about this cleaning gel. Apparently, this is some slime thing that cleans tight little spaces that you normally can't get into. Luckily for you, I have been accumulating some dust to see if this really works, so let's go check it out in my car. I have not opened this up yet, so let's see. I don't know how I feel about this. This looks like a blue slushy. This is a pretty color. I would eat this. Oh, that does not. No, no. Okay, the cleaning jelly is acquired. In the video, she just kind of rolls it everywhere and apparently it collects a lot of dust and dirt. <laughs> Whoa! This actually did a really good job of cleaning up and picking up all the little pieces of dust in my car. But I do keep my car pretty neat so there wasn't that much to show for. I have my old laptop that has the crustiest keys. Final consensus. I really like this. It's so convenient. The only thing is I don't know how often you would have to replace this because I don't think this is cleanable. My examples didn't show its true potential just because I didn't have that messy of spaces to really show what this can do. But I think this is a great little tool because sometimes there's those areas that you can't really reach. This gets a nine out of 10 because I don't know how long this would last, but this is really, really awesome. Let's just admit it, we all have those leggings that we love and wear all the time, but we wear them so much that they have pilling and it just looks really worn. So I have seen this all over TikTok, people raving about this depiller. This is from the brand Bogia. It's called a lint remover, but people have been using this to depill their leggings. I think I just broke it. <laughs> You can see the back of these leggings has some pilling. Let's try this out. Huh? I really did break it, huh? Did I break this? There's no way. Please. Uh, you're gonna work. This is very deceiving because this looks like a Clarisonic. Do not put this on your face. Oh my gosh. I wanna try these sweatpants. They clearly have a lot of lint on them, as you can see. And then it captures it all in this little back part. This thing is getting a 10 out of 10. The reason it wasn't working at first was because I was using dead batteries. It is so good. And honestly, instead of thinking you need to go buy a new pair of leggings, this honestly makes them look brand new. Next up, these are the only two makeup products that I'm going to be trying out. They're both from e.l.f., so very affordable. I feel like TikTok makeup hacks are always about finding the best dupes. I have seen this everywhere. This is called the Lip Exfoliator. You guys have heard about using lip scrubs and stuff, but they can get really expensive. This one is super affordable, so I have nothing on my lips right now. I got the one in the color Sweet Cherry. I think it's just flavors, though, because this isn't like a lip stain or anything. Here she is. The packaging looks pretty cute. Let's get a close-up here. Oh! Did you guys just see it snap? No! This might have to do with the fact that it had to be shipped to me because I couldn't find it in store. This smells super good. Oh, wow. This thing is very gritty. I actually really like how this is in lipstick form and not in that little tub that lip scrubs usually come in. You can really see the grittiness on this now that I've used it. You're supposed to put on a moisturizing lip product after this, but this is what it looks like. Oh my God, my lips look so much less crusty. Despite the fact that homegirl's a little bit broken, I'm not gonna judge it off of that because we're all a little bit broken sometimes, okay? She still works great and I really, really like this. 10 out of 10, I definitely would recommend this. There's a lot of other lip scrubs out there that are just way overpriced. 
I said it, lip scrubs are overpriced. And also what I wanted to test out was the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So I tested this out this morning. All right, we are gonna be giving this a try. I still haven't used it yet, so this is gonna be a first impression. It looks very interesting and it feels very interesting. Why don't you take a feel there? It's kind of like hard. I don't know if I'm supposed to, oh, like that. Okay. A little bit does not go a long way with this one. I feel like I have to get some more. Put some more! Don't be shy. I have oily skin, so I'm excited to see how this holds up throughout the day. This is the only thing I have on my skin right now, and it didn't make it look oily at all. So throughout this day, as we're trying other TikTok stuff, you can look at my foundation, see how it's holding up, and I will give my final consensus about this. And now here we are. As you can see, there's not really any signs of super oiliness. And usually by now, it's been two hours since I've put on my makeup. There's usually signs of oil in my t-zone and my cheeks the price is awesome I mean the application is not my favorite it's literally just like a little putty that you dip your fingers into which I don't prefer but honestly I feel like my makeup looks really good they really are stepping it up I really really like this I know they have other shades but this is just the transparent shade so it just blends out into your skin I'm obsessed with finding makeup dupes I think it is so awesome if you have any makeup dupes that you want to share comment them down below so we can all share them with each other it is time. Magic Candle Company, we bring the vacation to you. Before I get into this next product, I need to make sure we connect about this on a spiritual level. I'm sure we all have been to Disneyland at some point in our lives, and if you haven't, I am so sorry. However, if you have been, you know you know the iconic scent of the ride Pirates of the Caribbean. It's that cute little water boat ride that you just sit down and you watch everything happen and it has the most distinct smell. Probably just by me mentioning the name, you already can smell it. You know what Pirates of the Caribbean smells like. So for this TikTok product that we are trying out, the Pirate Life Magic Candle. I heard a lot of stuff about this and how about this company in general, how they have just different smells and it's not your typical Bath and Body Works like vanilla bean. No, these are very specific smells. So this is supposed to smell like pirate life and I'm going to be the judge of that. Here she is. <gasps> okay, here comes the smell test. It doesn't smell exactly as I know what it should smell like, but we're gonna try and burn this. I don't really know why it has this type of tip. It's a little bit weird, but we're gonna set it on fire anyways. We're gonna let this burn for a little bit and see how it smells. My final consensus of this candle, I'm pretty sure I got this candle from the right place that I saw all the TikToks getting it from. It does smell very familiar, however, not exactly as the Pirates of the Caribbean ride smells. I'm gonna link this candle down below. I know they have a bunch of other scents. If you guys wanna try it out for yourself, I would much rather go to Disneyland and smell it for the real thing versus this candle, but it is still really fun to do. We're gonna give that a seven out of 10 because it was still a fun experience and it is really cute. <laughs> I forgot that I have another beauty product to try out. Color changing lip balm that apparently is supposed to be your perfect shade of pink or nude, I guess, depending on the pH levels of your lips. These are not the authentic ones. I know the ones that everyone talks about is the Essence Black Sheep, but they were sold out. So I just got these other random ones. We'll see how it works. This is the brand we're trying out. Ooh, it's orange. Whoa, this one is like a dark purple, almost black. This is the orange one. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa, doesn't smell like anything, but that feels really nice. I love this lip color. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, this is in the shade 01. So I guess they have a couple different shades depending on what kind of look you want. This is 03. I wonder if this looks different on everyone. That's so crazy. I actually really like that. I would definitely use that. I'm a little bit more hesitant about this one, but let's give it a try. Girl, what did I just do? You're telling me this is red lip, what? Bro, this is so crazy. How does it do that? I kind of like the way I look with red lips, but how does it change like that? I don't understand. I definitely was not expecting red lips. I thought it was just gonna be more of a darker shade of pink or something. This one is not for me, but I really like that first one. So if you're gonna get this brand, you might as well just get the Essence one if they sell it where you live, but I really liked the first shade that I used, which was 01. So if you're gonna check this out, I recommend the first one. Well, in the words of Bill Nye, science is cool. <laughs> 
Here she is. I just know for a fact that everyone knows what this is and has seen it. I feel like every cool TikToker has this awesome galaxy projection thing going on in their room and it makes their room look super cool at night. So we are going to be trying out, seeing if it is worth the hype. This is from Bliss Lights. It's called the Skylight with blue stars and blue nebula. So we will be trying this out tonight, seeing if it was worth the hype. And if it is, you bet your ass that I will be making TikToks with this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is insane. Look at my view right now. Wow, that's gonna look a lot cooler in the dark. Oh my God, I finally have a TikTok room. <laughs> this is so cool. Even a little bit of light is peeking out through my windows right now, but I feel like when it's super dark out tonight, this is gonna be awesome. This is a vibe. I definitely give this 11 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. Even though I wish its range was a little bit more, it's still so cool. What we're also gonna be trying out tonight is the Ordinary Aha Baha Peeling Solution. I feel like everyone and their mother knows what this is. It's a base mask that is basically a chemical peel. And because I wanted to give you guys the best review, I've actually been trying this out for a month, but I'm gonna use it tonight to show you guys how it works and we'll let you know if it is worth the hype. I know you all wanna hear if this is worth it or not. I know this is about $7. Everyone has been talking about this. It's basically a chemical peel. You're not supposed to leave it on longer than 10 minutes because it can actually be really bad for you. So if you're the type of person like me, who knows not to leave a face mask on longer than 15 minutes and then sits with it for two hours. Set a timer, because that's what I've been doing. The first time I tried it was around four weeks ago. My face is a little cuter. Overall, I have a pretty good first impression of that. It was a little bit burny in the beginning, but then it was okay after. My skin felt so soft after using it, so we shall see. I've been using it once a week ever since. You're not supposed to use it. That looks so strange. Yeah, that's a little bit intimidating. The first time I used this, it smelled so bad and it still does not smell that great. And it burnt really bad the first time I used it as well, but now I think that's why they tell you not to use it more than once a week because it's Pretty strong. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Love that girl. A lot of people have been saying that it's helped with their acne scars and I actually do have a lot of scarring, especially on this side of my face. And I noticed that when I use this mask, particularly my skin feels very new. You get that new sense of skin feel. I also felt like it lightened my face a little bit, which probably in the long run is gonna help a lot with scarring, but this is definitely the type of thing that you're not gonna see super immediate results. So I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. My experience with it so far has been really, really good. And also, I've seen so many people use this. I actually got the wrong brand, but it's still the right product that people have been raving about. It's basically a skin mister. If you like to have those fun self-care nights, mist your face, I really honestly don't know what this is gonna do. We're gonna be trying this baby out tonight. Welcome to my bathroom. We are going to be testing a skin mister. I think that's what it's called, I'm not sure. The one that I got is from Vanity Planet. They're a company that has a lot of good skincare tools, and I know the ones that have been shown on TikTok, you can either find on Amazon, or I know they sell it in Sephora. Here she is. It's basically a facial steamer that detoxifies your skin, clarifies and hydrates skin's complexion, and apparently is great for all skin types. So we're gonna see about that. That's not creepy. And it has little stickies at the bottom. This is probably the one thing I'm actually gonna read the directions for because I do not want this to end badly. So you're only supposed to pour water in it, but these basically you can soak in your favorite essential oil, I guess. I don't really wanna put essential oils on my face, so I'm not gonna use that today. Here's a little tank. This feels so bougie, oh my gosh. It's on. You can adjust the nozzle like that. This is awesome. This thing was awesome. It's such a fun little self-care thing and apparently it's supposed to help ease up your skin and open up your pores a little bit so that the skincare that you put on after is supposed to absorb better. I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10 because I don't know how necessary it is, but it is fun and I'm all about that. 
And that's the video. I'm so excited to be posting this and I just really hope you guys had as much fun watching this as I had making it. My final consensus is that if a product goes viral on TikTok, I kind of trust these opinions now. If you see people raving about a certain life hack or trick, try it out for yourself. Let me know down below what you think of certain TikTok hacks and products and stuff. This video was so fun to film. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna have everything linked down below if you guys are interested in getting it. And if you stayed till this point in the video, first of all, you're awesome. And second of all, comment down below. Hi in all caps because that is what I'm trying to get. <laughs> Just kidding. If you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, it's also a really fun time on there. Go do that and I'll see you guys in my next video.